the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather together during this Easter season, let us acknowledge our sin, and so prepare to celebrate the sacred Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner for Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar. Even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation, this is the reason, then, I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wears, would wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just, the just will, will gaze, gaze on your face, face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. The, the just, just will gaze, gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just. He loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus turned and saw the disciple, follow, the disciple following him whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper, and had said, Master, who is the one who betrayed you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that the testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember when I was in first grade, and I think the assignment was we had to match a word with a picture and then color it in, 
and I wasn't much of an artist, so I remember doing it and not coloring it and handing it in. And as soon as I handed it in, two of my classmates grabbed it and took it to sister and showed that I didn't color. And when she said, why didn't you color? My response was, well, I colored it with my white crayon. And I remember thinking, mind your own business. And how often in life, whether we're in first grade or older, we find ourselves more concerned with what you're doing or what she's doing or what he's not doing. And we see that in the gospel. Peter's concerned about the beloved disciple. And Jesus simply says to him, follow me. Don't get caught up about what other people are doing or this or that. Stay focused on following me. And that's good advice for us. How many times do we find ourselves saying, why does she get away with things like that? Or why can he do that and I can't? Jesus speaks the same words to us. Follow me. Don't get distracted. How is that distraction helping us to get to heaven? Or getting closer to Jesus. Chances are they aren't. So the gospel today on this day right before Pentecost reminds us, stay focused and follow Jesus at all times. With praise and thanksgiving, let us present our petitions for our holy church, that the Lord may bless her and protect her from all evil. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate. In a special way, we give thanks to Almighty God for our two newly ordained priests, Fathers Kevin Holland and Joe Capro. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, in a special way, we remember Sophie and Harlan Crabb. As we've embraced our loved ones in this life, may God embrace them in eternity. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all creation, we come before you this day. Hear our petitions and grant them according to your will. For we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual grace. Blessed be God forever. Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, coming here, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrifice, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic sing together the unending hymn of your glory as 
Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all things. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread and, and drink, drink this, this cup, cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Lawrence our Bishop and all the Pope. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of your truth, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my words, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought, as we have been brought from things of the past to new histories, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for tuning in and praying with us this morning. Just a reminder, today Saturday, we have confessions from 3 to 3.45, and then we will have Mass via Facebook live stream at 4.15. Just a reminder, we will not have a holy hour tomorrow morning. We'll hear confessions, so just regular Mass tomorrow via live stream, 7.30 a.m. And then on Monday, we begin our public Masses. So we go back to our regular Mass schedule, and we will live stream the 12 Mass during the week. I would invite you, if you haven't already, I made a little, little video that's on Facebook, on our webpage. Please look at the video, view the video before you come to the public Masses beginning on Monday. It kind of explains maybe the procedure and things we all need to be aware of before we come to Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.